and then when you get over here it doesn't match i love an overall so i couldn't wait to give no me 2062 a try i decided that i wanted to make view a now this pattern does have 20 pattern pieces it is rated as average and i cut out a size eight i made a muslin now this green fabric is a bed sheet and the rest of the fabric is just actual fabric that I picked up from a fabric store. But some of this was scraps. So I'm going to try this on so you can see how it looks. And let's see, this is the front. Okay. So I'm excited about this garment. I didn't put all the hardware on. So you will need buckles and some buttons okay let me see uh, okay i'm just gonna pin where i think the straps would go so i think this would go about right here and where's the other one okay i think this would go about right here i thought the bib was going to come out more and I was thinking I was going to have to decrease the size of the bib, but I'm actually okay with the bib size. I don't think it comes out too far. And it has front pockets. It has this extension on the side, which is where your buttons would go. And I love the wide legs. Can you see? and yeah i like it so much so i'm gonna go ahead and make this in some regular fashion fabric which i don't have i'm gonna have to go out and find something so i think i'm gonna go to joanne i have two gift cards which is good because this garment takes a lot of fabric for this view size eight it called for three and seven eighths of a yard of fabric so that's almost four yards so yeah i cannot wait to get started on this i think it's really really cute so i'm at joanne fabrics they open at nine and it is about 9:21. So I go up to the door and it's one of those doors that, you know, opens automatically and it didn't open automatically. So I was like, what's going on? So I looked at my watch. I was like, yeah, I'm here on time. I get back to the car and I call the store. Someone does answer. And the guy on the phone said that none of the managers have come in yet to open the door. And he said that they should be open in about an hour. So i'm like oh man i think i'm just gonna go ahead and head over to the fabric outlet store and then maybe just come back i started out looking in the knit fabrics knowing good and well i did not come in here for knits looking for my phone I ended up picking up this lightweight denim in an army green color and it was only $4.99 a yard so I was like ah I'll take five yards so I got way more than I need but I really love it and I bought buckles the buckles are silver and I ordered those on Amazon so I'm just gonna go ahead I guess and put the silver buckles on or you know what I may just go to Joanne anyway i'll see if i can get some thread to match and then i'll check to see if they have some buckles if they had this in the right size i would get this to go with the green fabric so i had a package in front of the door and i believe these are my overall buckles how perfect is that so i have all the fabric i need and then some I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and if these are the overall buckles I'll show you how they look use my thing I love this thing it just opens up packages I love it 
Yep, these are my buckles. So I had to order the buckle and the clasp and then I had to order the little buttons separately. So this is the slider part of the overall and then this is the little, I don't know, I'm calling it a clasp, but the little hook, the part that goes over the button. That's that. And I have, I think there's six in here. And then I have the little buttons that it goes over. They're coming. I thought they were gonna be in here. So actually I don't have everything I need, but by the time I finish the garment, it should be here. Since the overalls were pretty long on me, I'm going to start out by taking an inch off the length. So that's gonna be taking off an inch from piece five, piece nine, and also piece 12. One of the most time consuming parts of this, it was cutting out the pattern pieces and marking everything. So if you decide to make this, just take your time, give yourself plenty of time. So like for me right now, it is almost six o'clock in the morning. And I was thinking about this project and I couldn't wait to get started. So I jumped up out of bed and came to my sewing room. And once I cut out all the pieces, I don't know if I'm gonna even start on this today. I may just cut the pieces out and then start sewing another day. But I'm just gonna take my time, not rush through it, and get it all done little by little, just one step at a time. I cut a size eight on all of the pattern pieces, but when I got to the back pattern piece, just in this area here, I cut on the size 10 line and I only did it on the back piece. I didn't do it on the front piece. And that's just to scoop in a little bit. And I noticed when I did that before on another pair of pants, it gave me a better fit. I'm attaching the back yoke to the back of the pants. And I wanted to show you that when you're pinning edge to edge, it's not going to match on this side. So you can see it hangs over a little bit and that's perfectly okay. You'll go ahead and stitch even though this is hanging over and I'll show you how it comes out. So this is the other leg and I did the same thing. I matched the edges up and then when you get over here, it doesn't match. And I stitched it down, but then when you flip it up, this will be trimmed off and then everything will line up just fine. If you take a look at the directions, you can see a tiny, tiny bit of hangover right here on the side and that is perfectly okay. I decided to use some faux leather to go on the bottom of the front and back leg pieces. There is a faux fly here in the front. You have side pockets and then there will be buttons here and here. I am about to pin the front and the back together. And I decided not to put any pockets on the back and I'm also not going to put a pocket on the bib in the front. And then when you're pinning down here at the bottom, you want to try your best to line up the seams. There's a seam here on each leg and you want to make sure that these are lined up as best as you can. So maybe I'll start down there and line that up first. I'll just stick a pin in there, get that going. Then I'm gonna open it up and see if it's pretty straight. 
So it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. I might baste it first and then I can go in and check and if it's not close or right then I'll change it. I basted the seam so let's see how it turned out. I only basted it in the area that I want to match so let me see. Um, it's not so bad. Okay, I can live with that. So now I can go ahead and just stitch the permanent seam in all the way from the top down. I got my buttons in the mail and I'm so glad I did because I'm thinking I will probably finish this project today and so I won't have to wait on these buttons. They're covered in paper but they are silver and they have some print on them. The buttons say guaranteed high quality. This is what I have so far. The pants are done. Now I can work on the extension and the bib and this is the faux leather right here at the bottom on each leg right here and over here on this side. When I was in Joanne the other day, I ended up buying two spools of thread to match this fabric. And I just went through one spool and now I'm using the second spool. So I'm glad I picked up two. There's a lot of top stitching in this. What is going on? There we go. And so I thought I would probably need a whole lot of thread what is going on? Why is this stuck in here? Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm glad I picked up two spools of thread. So just keep that in mind. You will need a lot of thread if you're planning to make this garment. The thread that I like to use is the Guterman thread. I'm attaching the front waistband to the pants now. This is what we have. When I got ready to press, I realized that this is the wrong side. So I stitched the wrong side to the right side, but I'm gonna leave it because the fabric is pretty much the same on each side. And what I'll do is the piece that's going to have the interfacing, I'll make this side the right side, and then I'll interface this side. I am really loving the way the silver hardware looks, so I'm glad I stuck with the silver. I decided to add faux leather to the front bib, and this faux leather fabric was just some fabric that I had left over from another project. Tonight is game night and I just decided to come outside and relax a little bit on the back patio and just get ready for the evening. <laughs> okay, y'all ready? ready? What are, are y'all? Just me. Oh, yeah, okay, it's just you. Okay, ready? Did you set the timer? Okay. Kind of a light, a flower, a rose petal, a leaf. You said it so a rose, yeah, a rose, yeah. Good job, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs>